All right, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. Uh, it is 12 p.m. It is stretch break time. For today, you will just need a mat. Um, so let's get started. All right, so sitting on our bottom, we're going to start off with a butterfly stretch. So it's where the bottoms of your feet are touching and just having your knees out by your side. And it doesn't really like matter if your feet are like farther out in front of you or if they're farther in, just doing what is possible, what feels good to you. So feeling that stretch within the inner thigh and if it helps, you could just lean forward just a little bit, just to feel that stretch a little more. Nice job. So let's kick that left leg out and we're going to put the, the right foot up against that left leg and we're going to reach. So whether it's calf, ankle or toe, we're reaching towards that left side. Feeling that stretch through the back of the leg, through the hamstring, so a little bit through the calf. And then a little bit through that right side of like your low back. Excellent. So we're going to switch legs. So now we're going to move that right or that left foot towards the side of that right leg. And that right leg is extended out and reaching for the calf, ankle, or toe. Nice job. Keep breathing. All right, so we're gonna come out of that one. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do, I'm just gonna take the keys out of my pocket so I can do this one. All right, so feet flat on the floor. Your legs are bent. And we're going to have our legs apart and we're just going to turn in, so turn, so pretty much like the knees are going to fall towards one side, feeling that stretch through the back side. And if you want, you can hold it for a few seconds and then you're going to rotate the other way. All right, ready, go. So again, just feeling it out, just feeling that stretch through the back side and then rotate. Bringing some movement and some mobility into that hip, making sure that it doesn't feel tight and locked up. Do a couple more, just because we sit in the chair all day. That little extra will help. Last time. Great job. All right, so still staying on the ground. We're going to lie onto our side and I am going to take my right hand, grab my right foot. You may be on your left and that's okay. And so grabbing the, the top of your right foot and just feeling that stretch through the front. Nice job. So let's turn it over. Really stretching out those legs today. So we're going to do the other side. So left hand is grabbing the left foot and just feeling it through the front of that left leg. Excellent job. All right, so we're going to come up to a kneeling position. So I'm gonna have my left leg bent and up front, I'm gonna have my right leg bent, but behind me. And so we're just going to lean forward. So we're moving the body forward and we're feeling that stretch through that little bend in the hips. So again, when we sit into a chair, and those muscles get tight. 
those hip flexors or what flexes the leg when you're raising it, when you're bringing your knee up in front of you. Nice job. All right, so we're gonna add something to this. So with your left hand, I now want you to reach towards the right side. So now we're doing two stretches in one. If it's a little too much, I want you to come out of that hip flexor stretch and then just reach left hand towards the right side. So I'll turn your wrist so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's switch legs. So now my right leg is going to be up front and my left leg is going to be bent, but behind me. And so we're just pushing or moving forward, feeling that stretch through that left bend within the hip itself. If you need to hang on to anything like a couch or a coffee table or maybe your desk or a chair. All right, so we're gonna add that little that little addition. So now right hand is going to reach towards the left side. So I'll turn in your direction a little more so you can see what I'm doing. So my left hand is just down on the ground, just so that I don't fall over. But again, you're still pushing your hip forward and you're still reaching that right hand towards the left. If it's too much to think about, just back off the hip flexor stretch and just do the back. All right. Okay, the next one that we are going to do. So hands down and just lift behind you. We're gonna add something a little different. And this one is going to be one that we're going to work on together. We'll see how we do. All right. So I'm going to slightly face myself away from the camera. And ideally, it's trying to get the bottoms or so your hands are back behind you. And you're just trying to get your hands to touch. So if you can get your palms to touch, feel that stretch through the chest a little bit by keeping the shoulders back, but you also feel that stretch through the forearm or that lower half of your arm. If you feel like this one's a little too weird for you, you can always just extend that, that left or right arm and just pull on the palm or the fingertips I was just presenting something a little different. All right, excellent. So you can come out of either one of those stretches that you were doing. All right, so speaking of, let's actually do the forearm stretch slash bicep stretch. So I actually want you to pull on your palm, not on your fingertips, but I want you to extend your left arm where it's straight and then your right uh, right hand is pulling on your left palm. Nice job. All right, so we're going to do something a little different. So with your, with your hand, I, I'm just going to hold it out. I want you to take your fingers of your right hand and I just want you to kind of bring them apart bring them, you know, kind of putting your fingers in between each, just kind of stretching out. So like when you think of like doing like piano sorts of things, you know, just to get some mobility within your hand. So just, just a quick stretch really fast, nothing too crazy. And then if you want, you can take your thumb and use your two right fingers and just kind of pull it down just a little bit. Again, you know, when we're typing and stuff. All right, so let's extend that right arm. So right arm and my left hand is pulling on my right palm. 
So again, feeling that stretch through the upper part of the forearm, a little bit into the bicep. Nice job. So we're going to do that finger one. So now you're going to do the right hand. So using your left, you're just kind of stretching out in between. I know it looks a little weird, but hey, every every bit helps. And then again, don't forget to kind of pull your your thumb a little bit towards um, towards your right wrist. Just kind of doing what you can. Nice job. All right, so let's stretch out the, the triceps or the back of the arm. All right, so right hand flat on your back. You can either do one of two things. You could either bring that left hand up behind you and just hold that stretch. Otherwise, you could take your left hand and you could grab your right elbow if you want something a little less challenging, more doable. Again, it's just all about making it interesting. All right, let's do the other side. So again, either grabbing, the right hand is gonna grab the left elbow and your left hand is flat on your back, or you do the one where your hand comes up from behind, your right hand comes up from behind, your left hand is flat on your back, Ideally, it's all about trying to get those middle fingers to get closer to each other. All right. All right, so we're going to run through some neck stretches. I'm just going to stay in my kneeling position um, just because it's easy that way. All right, so chin, we're going to look down towards the ground. Use whichever hand you want to use and just gently pull on the back of the head, not necessarily the back of the neck. You want to feel that stretch in the upper part of our, like the base of the skull into the neck itself. All right, so now we're going to do the one where we look up towards the ceiling, we're going to keep our mouth closed and we're going to push that bottom jaw forward. So you're feeling that stretch underneath your neck or right underneath your, uh, your lower jaw. Nice job, everyone. All right, so we're going to move right ear to right shoulder. Nice job. And we're going to move left ear to left shoulder. And now we're going to move chin over towards the right side. So looking over the right, looking towards the right. And then I want you to look up, still looking towards the right. And I want you to look down, still looking towards the right. And then back up, looking towards the right. And one last time, looking down, still looking towards the right. And now we're going to switch. So now chin goes over towards the left shoulder. So standing or um, being tall, shoulders back. All right, look up. So look up, still looking left. And look down, still looking left. And look up, still on your left side. Still trying to keep your chin 
looking over your shoulder. And last time, back down. All right, so the last couple that we are going to do is just some shoulder rolls, just to kind of get things loose. So we're gonna go a few shoulder rolls back. We're gonna go a few shoulder rolls forward. Nothing big, no big shoulder rolls here. All right, and one last one is just bringing those arms kind of crossing in front of the body and just kind of bringing it back. And it's okay to swing a little bit or just kind of use some momentum. But again, have control. I just have my arms kind of coming out to my side. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, everyone. All right, if you are in the fitness center today, at 1230, Caitlin has a group cycle. Otherwise, have a great day. And remember, tomorrow we open um, at 6.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon. So come see me. Bye, everyone.